Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and today we're gonna go over a basic overview of the Church of the Broken God. <sighs> what these people will believe in, what they do, and the sort of anomalies that they might be re responsible for. We haven't really gone over many anomalies relating to the Church of the Broken God, if any at all. We've more gone over anomalies relating to the exact opposite, which would be the psychic cult. <sighs> First, let's go over the basic overview. Group GOI 004 the Church of the Broken God. Membership, three known factions, 300,000 worldwide. Resources, approximately one to five billion dollars annually with an anomalous capability. Their status is active. Description, the chirp, er, <sighs> the Church of the Broken God is an anomalous religious organization which worships of its mechanization and believes flesh and life to be inherently evil or broken. I believe it's more they believe base flesh and life to be inherently evil or broken. Though its origins are unknown, unbroken god related artifacts have been discovered from archeo archaeological digs dating back to the Greek classical period, and church dogma asserts its existence predates the appearance of life on Earth. Central to their theology is that their deity has been scattered, dispersed, or otherwise rendered inert. Through the use of technology, often anomalous, church followers are seek to bring together the components of the body of their god, thereby allowing the divine of this form to utilize and bring about some sort of techno-organic ap apotheosis. Several SCP objects have been attributed to the group sent and to discovery. Personnel may re reference uh, items indexed under Broken God for a restricted list. <sighs> the current and leader of the oldest extent and, and the denomination in of the Broken Church is an individual identified in, in records as His Holiness Robert Bro Amaro, Builder of the Broken God, who apparently gained the title in 1946. Spanish National is records from 1938 mentioned a civilian and mechanic by the name of Umberto Obamaro, who received several governmental citations for miraculous feats of engineering and miraculous mechanical repair in favor to the state. Whether or not this is the same individual and his whereabouts during the Second World War is unknown. While this sect continues its efforts to reconstruct their deity, the religion as a whole has, at some time in the past a century, undergone a major schism. Two significant breakaway movements from the original church have entered into a major theological conflict. The Cogwart Orthodox Church espouses a form of literal religious icon of known as standardization, whereby adherents submit to a novelist mechanical enhancement with the same goal of remaking themselves in the image of or plan of their deity. Due to the extent of their mechanical augmentation, members of this sect often emit audible ticking or tapping sounds and have been referred or disparagingly as tickers by members of the, the other two sects. Cogworth orthodoxy deliberately adheres to the to technological norms of the late industrial re revolution and regard the mass reduction of analog, steam, and clockwork driven machinery as a form of prayer. Orthodoxy doctrine is highly centralized and regulated by a group of unknown on composition known as the patriarchs. This body issues detailed production orders and design documents, which from the core of the group's extremely extensive holy writ. Which form the core? Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Orthodox belief describes the use of electronic or digital devices. Oh, the Christ! I am really bad at reading these these words. 
So we use distributed information sharing and decentralization as tantamount to the dissolution of divine knowledge. <sighs> the Church of Maxwell represents and to modernize computation in a network-oriented means of worship. No central organizing in church body is known to exist. However, introducing overt surveillance has determined that all known cells are in regular contact with one another and capable of coordination. Maxwell lists favor small-scale body modification through the use of advanced cybernetics and organ enhancement. While artificial limbs or reinforced skeletons have been observed, Maxwell is implants focused primarily on communication, and data storage, networking capabilities, and sensory enhancement. Oops. Next well is doctrine and interprets the broken god as a fragmented deity, which exists as a spirit that are present in the linked technology and cultural zeitgeist of the digital age. Worshippers approach the divine by embracing their unique traits and sharing their knowledge and capacity for the good of the, of the collective church. By connecting all minds through community networks, they believe their deity can be recompiled as the aggregate will of humanity. Due to their use of computer fan noise as a meditative aid, members are often referred to as Hummers by members of the other two factions. Now, if we go all over the history, this might be a, a little bit long. <sighs> Given the fragment and the nature of Geo. OI-8004, also known as the Church of the Broken God, a clear timeline of events involving the Church is difficult to determine. Contradictory information regarding its origins, I mean, origins, primary doctrines, important figures, and historical development is collected with every raid on cell cells. The retroactive recognition of unrelated cults as predecessors of the Church represents a significant problem for the Foundation historians. The following is a brief summary of information regarding the Church's history from sources the Foundation presently considers the most reliable. This will be taken as a guideline when dealing with members of the a Church or, or suspected artifacts. Though a Foundation of agents and researchers must always remember that it represents incomplete knowledge, subject to explain to expansion or amendment with every new discovery. Zia Anomalous Culture Group Recent ar archaeological findings of ancient an anomalous sites have established a link between the ancient Zia dynasty, a legendary dynasty which ruled China from 21 to 1600 BCE, of which there is not an anomalous evidence, and the cult of the broken god. The Zia Culture Group practiced a dualistic religion, worshipping in entities known as Father Serpent Fuxi, equivalent to the Broken God, and Mother Dragon and Nuwa, equivalent to the Psychic Deity. We'll get over, well, I'll, I'll cover the Psychic occult uh, next time. Above all gods, that scholars were said to practice the Way of the Serpent, and members of the culture underwent, at age 12, transformations into serpentine bodies, said to resemble the body of the dragon. These anomalous transformations, along with the uh, the anachronistic technology recovered from archaeological sites confirmed the Zia as one of the first anomalous civilizations in a historical record. According to Zia a cosmology, Fuxi and Nuwa fought after creating humankind, eventually culminating in, the Fu in Fuxi transforming himself into a great brass cage to imprison Nuwa. While the worship of Fuxi took precedence over the worship of Nuwa, the Zia culture saw they were building a Fuxi as an event to be prevented at all costs since it would free Nua from her cage and lead to the end of the world. Which I kind of, uh, which really confuses me about the modern church. Anyway. The dynasty is said to have started with the Yellow Emperor. You'll notice that the name Yellow Emperor sounds a lot like the King in Yellow. 
a legendary figure considered to be the initiator of Chinese civilization, who defeated a contemporaneous worshippers of Fuxianua throughout their history to see a civilization with it or conflicts with other civilizations, such as the aforementioned cults, the Orothian civilization, the future Shang Dynasty, and Redacted. I'm not sure what Redacted is, but it might be interesting to look at. Oh, it's SCP-100, I mean 1000. We already went over that, we know what they are. <sighs> the Zia culture group was significantly more advanced than any other civilization of their time, having developed similar structures to computing devices up to including artificial intelligence, as well as the ranks of some more developed of, in the future Shang Dynasty and even reality warping devices. They were accomplished blacksmiths, particularly of bronze and beryllium um, bronze alloy, a president several anomalous objects. The properties of this alloy are currently being researched. Records suggest that the culture developed methods of interstellar travel, whether these were constructed through eyes only or something else entirely has not been determined. By the way, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm just going with my best guess. The Zia Dynasty came to an end following a conflict with creatures identified as Golden Crows. Once again, this might be interesting in the future. Children of the Church? Hmm. Interesting. Which destroyed all physical evidence of their existence outside of a few anomalous sites. Objects and organizations. Information on them persisted through legends of the surrounding English and succeeding cultures. There are accounts of the continued presence of survivors mm. as, garden, uh, as guardians of forgotten history. For more information on the Zia Anomalous Culture Group, see document 2481. We'll have to see that another time. The Mechanite Empire. Ample evidence has been collected of the presence of a broken god cults in Mycenaean Greece, a Greek civilization spanning the year 1600 to 1100 BCE. The broken god came to be known as Mechane. Literally, a Greek for a machine. And over time, the cult grew powerful enough up to establish the Mechanite Empire, existing roughly from 1200 BCE to 1000 BCE. The Mechanite Empire was a highly centralized theocratic state with no distinction between the position of political, religious, and military leader. The state maintained control over the production of goods, particularly of the a metallurgic industry, considering it a holy craft. The empire had, had strong trade relations with Egypt, Assyria, and Canaan. Their aggressive commercial policies, even alienation practices, and naval strength made them one of the most powerful states at the time, though they also gave them an unpopular reputation among contemporary states. The Mechanite Empire introduced several important concepts to the broken church theology. Most importantly, the establishment of the rebuilding of the the broken god as the ultimate goal of the church. Written accounts document the change from a part I'm merely the Isaac religion to the current apotheosis as doctrine as far back as eleven fifty four BC. Of important note is that at the earliest known document that proposes this doctrine called the Broken God Wan. Relation, if any, to the Wan worship by the Church Max William Remains unknown. What is the earliest known document, first of all? 3391 F set 1. So, something relating to 3391, which we'll have to go over another time. Relationships between the Mechanite Empire and contemporaneous civilizations, primarily the Davites and the Sarkatics, were often fraught with tension, though proof of, uh, of alliances between the Mechanites and the Davites. Avites against the Adiyam Empire has been encountered. Tensions between the 
Econites and the Adium Empire has reached an all-time high around the end of the 11th century B e ECE. A evidence of Colossus is constructed for this war has been found as far away as the Ar Arakum Desert. I think this Colossus is actually one I've seen before. I don't know the number, but I think I know this SCP. We'll have to look into it another time, though. The counts on the end of, uh, of the war vary. That is agreed, but though it is agreed that while the Mechanites ultimately won the war, it dealt significant damage to the state, leading to the collapse of the empire shortly afterwards. Artifacts from the time period would be salvaged by various anomalous organizations over the years, surfacing as recently as the Seventh Occult War. That's a whole different in canon that I don't, don't really know much about. <sighs> the city state of Amoni, the survivors of the Mechanite state, experienced a schism after the fall of the Empire, a significant portion, and traveled to other lands, hoping to find new territories in which to settle. The rest stayed on. Amoni, a small settlement mostly undamaged by the war. For, mo for both groups, the period immediately after the collapse of the empire was defined by the need for secrecy. The surrounding states immediately claimed dominion over the empire's former ter territory, hoping to find the secrets to the Mechanites' technology. Similarly, the former members of the empire were hunted, considered a valuable, a valuable source of information. <sighs> Survivors looking for new places to live hit their their origins, often practicing their religious their religion secretly or conflating it with other de deities. It is believed most of the sands of these survivors eventually abandoned their faith to facilitate integration with society. Meanwhile, these survivors in the now city state of Amoni hid information on its location from the rest of the world, living in self sufficiency while recovering from the effects of the war. It will take them until the 6th century ECE to regain their status as an influential of, of player in, in regional politics, primarily due to their advanced technology. With their overall military strength and fell significantly with the fall of the Empire, engineers from the city state were highly prized among other civilizations, and gained them several important allies that guaranteed them a continued existence. No longer possessing a numerous army in order control over the sea trades, the city state of Amoni would uh, and instead concentrate on agriculture and the production of unique goods. The city-state remained close to foreigners, not willing to show any sign of weakness to outsiders, with the majority of contact with other states coming from um, trade in designated ports and the true location of the city remaining a secret. This state of isolation will remain until a conquest by the Romans in, in the 1st century BCE. The city state of Amoni was profoundly influenced by the Pythagorean and cults, incorporating their belief on the most important of new uh, morality and harmony. It is believed that the current Gnostic reading of the Broken God theology may have roots in this period. These uh, spiritual influences led to the to a marked increase in the production of literature and art about around no around the fifth century BCE, making this the golden age of Mechanite and literature. Similar advances in automation design would occur around the first century BCE, culminating in the creation of what are believed to be the first examples of artificial intelligence in the European continent. Obviously, we're just looking at the numbers, seeing what it is. Oh, that's not a number at all. The city state of Amoni remained. A a neutral in most military conflicts of the time, though they are known to have aided at the uh, um, uh, Empire in the war against the Sarkites, as well as have at least supplied military equipment to the Kingdom of Carthage at the time of the Punic Wars. The city state of Amilne would be destroyed during the 1st century ACE after a conflict with the Hebrews. Proved their military strength could no longer or be underestimated. The followers of the religion remained at no a centralized body would form until the 19th century. The Industrial Revolution The Church of the Broken God experienced a resurgence during the Industrial Revolution, seeing the proliferation of machinery and mass production as a symbol 
all of McCain's imminent return, the various surviving cells would unify into what is known today as the Broken Church, looking to spread the word of their god in the new era. At the same time, among members of the church, debates started regarding the viability of conversion into mechanical entities, searching for or a post nibonic state of being. post nibonic refers to a hypothetical state in which he converts the subject and achieves a state of communion with their god. Conversion had not been a widespread practice since the fall of the Mechanite. Empire and several high ranking members considered any conversion different from the one given by the then lost God's Acre to be a mockery of the broken God. It is believed if the tension inside the church were, exasper were exacerbated by the, the oligarchy of the time, seeing benefits in a new religion but not willing to submit themselves to the church's authority. Ultimately, this led to the great schism of the church's as modern or in history, with rules. Enter cells affected from the environment of the church to seek enlightenment and the new technologies during the 1840s. With the economical support of several important factory owners and the knowledge of the church flinter cells, several experiments and some possible old passive augmentation were performed. The slave cells looked to further evangelize the oligarchy of the time, emphasizing the usefulness of the Econite and novelist technology and spectacle of augmentations as reasons to convert. While few adopted the faith, many would become sclerotics of the, the nascent of the nascent splinter cells. I cannot I don't know that word. Looking to benefit from their knowledge. The increased awareness of an anomalous technology it threatened to destroy this veil, leading to the first conflicts between the and the nascent foundation and the church. Eventually, the majority of these cells would be unified under the patriarchs of the Cogwork Orthodox Church, which became the most important or is segment of the Church of the Broken and God by the end of the 19th century. The 20th century. The Church of the Broken and God started the 20th century in the most stable situation it had been since the destruction of the city state Amoni. The discovery of several suspected broken god artifacts by the Cockburn Orthodox led many in a cult to believe it was only a matter of time until the broken god was reassembled. The broken church, not willing to let the splinter suit be the ones to unite at the gods, start their own hunt for the artifacts. The most important figure in recent church history is Robert Brumaro, a mysterious individual who was first recorded as a collector of items. Suspected of being related to the church, he recruited several enforcers and through anomalous means and enhanced most of them until they were able to communicate with their god. This was unusual for the broken church, as unlike the Hogwarts Orthodox, they usually discourage artificial en enhancements. Romero and his agents were able to collect close to a hundred artifacts of resumed importance to the church before disappearing in 1943. He would appear in 1946, claiming the leader of the church, arch and claiming the leader of the church and builder of God. To this day, Romero remains a highly respected figure, not just inside the broken church, but among all other known denominations. The final schism occurred during the 1990s, though conflicts within the church had started in the 1970s. As technology advanced, many members of the existing church just felt the dogmas were outdated and that the church had to adapt its message to the times. The inclusion of electronic devices and augmentations was the cause of severe controversy within the Cockwork Orthodox Church, culminating in its prohibition by the patriarchs as a heretical development. This addition to the schema resulted in numerous excommunications and defections. Similarly to the situation in the 19th century, numerous cementer cells would emerge, though with significant and less a success at attracting funding. Muslim would eventually unify under the second half of the 1990s, following the teachings of a woman named Saint Hedwig. If I should retreat from the church like it, and Saint Hedwig to actress and inventor Hedy Lamar. No, this claim has not been verified. To salvage the brook of Maxwellism, with commercial links to major players and anomalous. As world such as Prometheus Labs, the Church of Maxwellism will soon establish itself as one of the major denominations of the Church. Current status 
The Church of the Broken God has an estimated of 300,000 members as of today. There is an increase in, in families of mixed faiths as Maxwellism looks to evangelize newer generations using popular media and the internet. Looking at the most important threat to normalcy among the members of the church, despite a relative lack of military power compared to the other two denominations. Current church operations and such around the recovery of an island off the coast of Greece. The reasons for this interest are currently unknown. Quite sure this link might have the reasons. 2217. I guess we can see later. <sighs> I believe that's all we needed to cover for what the Church of the Broken and God is, what they've done, and what they want to do. According to the mythology, the Broken God, or Mechanite, as they, as it's called, is a god of machinery that created humanity. Due to an a disagreement with the Sarkic deity that we have yet to cover, Mechanite decided to play unfair, break its own body, and form a cage around said deity. <sighs> the Church of the Broken God is known to uh, worship of things such as augmentation, machinery, and technology. Although it seems like, just like almost any church, there are some who only prefer the dogma that is outdated and does not fit in modern society or with modern technology. As we saw, there are two groups that, well, there's one group that is expressly a, a basically boomer group versus the group that was pretty much more millennial or zoomer in nature. Tomorrow, we will be going over their exact opposite, known as the Sarkites. If what I remember about the Sarkites is correct, then, um... Sarkites, I said that wrong. Um, it's that they worship flesh, virality, and disease. You'll see what I mean tomorrow. And also, I might explain one of the most horrifying anomalies made by the Sarkic cult. Anyway, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel.